Ladies and gentlemen, today is a different kettle of fish. Today we have asbestos. So I have special asbestos bags. I have gloves. I have masks. I'm going to wear all these bits of equipment and then I'm going to go through this asbestos and then bag it away from everything else. Shine on. Two. Two. Make me sneeze already. You can't get it here. You don't want it. Back guard on the door, skip. This, this, this. I need to yeah, I know that's down, skip. I've got to be out your dad's as well. Alright. I'm going to rush around. I did knock on the door. Thank you. When I was in the shower. Oh, alright. Thank you. So asbestos, gloves, mask, sledge. Right then, don't go that way at the minute. Just there, yeah? Yep, yeah, from there this way. I might have to cut that. Beautiful. And that is how you take an asbestos fall down. All gone. Yeah, when you come back with a wheelbarrow, yeah, like, are you going to start bearing it around the skip? So I'll put all the heavy stuff here. Yeah, you can put all the heavy stuff here. Yeah, yeah, sure. Right. Gloves, mask, right, sledgehammer. Now, I'm going to put all the access into these bags and get a special contract set to take it away because this is not normal waste. And this is how to do a job. Enjoy it properly. Especially when dealing with asbestos.
we look at this, Charlie? Yeah, it's coming down. He's coming down. We want to keep about 20 of these good. Okay. Um, do you want me to pass you 20 now? We can put them somewhere safe. Yes. They can go anywhere. Yeah. And then the rest I'll just throw off. Perfect. So what I'm doing, I'm taking it back further than it needs to go by one tile. Yeah. So when we've got the... Dumb, so that's all right. <laughs> well, she's <laughs> she's very nasty towards herself. Really? Yeah. In what way? But she eats a lot and blames herself. Oh really? Yeah. Don't look podgy. No, but she, she's a bit podgy. Oh right. She's all right. It's a nice girl. Yeah, she, it's fine. She picks herself up. Yeah. Yeah, they all do. It? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do a job. Yeah. <laughs> but all women do it, Charlie. Oh, don't they? I'll tell you what, Everyone I've met in the last ten years has got this. Yeah, everyone's got issues. They've all got issues. And there's... But they're pretty young ladies. Mental health problems, yeah, it's how much you're going to put up. Yeah, they've all been raped when they're younger and shit. Yeah. They've all got, like, stories. Yeah. And I tried the last, the one before this last one. Yeah. <laughs> um, I tried, I thought, you know what, I'm going to have some of my own age, 48. Yeah. And I had two houses. Yeah. Um, was, you know, had money, we go out and she pays things as well as I pay things. Yeah. And I've never had that before. I didn't find the tax. I know, they're crazy so, fuckers. So straight back on 26 again, careful of my hose down there. Of course we'd be careful of your hose. Yeah, You've got to remember, sir, what we're doing here is good for your house. Because we, we make this new, that makes you oh, new. Oh, money on yours. Puts money in your house. Now I rent it. Okay, we'll put some money on your landlord's house. Now, this, oh. is, this is this is a nice one. I mean, when people people come by, yeah, you should hear the you know you get the yeah know, holiday makers, shall we call them? Whatever, we're going to make it nice, so they can take a look at my doobly bits. These um, it'll be fine. Yeah, this house needs love, but it's going to get love. I always wanted one on the seafront, so I had to get one. You've got a really nice view from up here, you know. I'll go up there, take an area. I have. I'll say five glass, put four metal holes up for now, and then you've got something to build the decking off. Are you going to move in here? No, not yet. Maybe, but not yet. <laughs> not for a while. I'm quite happy with my tenants. I need to rent it out for nine years for it to pay for itself. They're quite quiet, the lot here, aren't they? They are. Okay, the the seafront is completely different. One row back. Yeah. Yeah. We have got the best view here. This is the best view along here, isn't it? Yeah. This is the best one there. Thank you, Charlie. Uh, hey. Yeah, delivery. We're not going to do that much of that. Charlie's going to give us a few bumps. A few bumps of what? Really? Yeah, you've got a good month, six weeks. Maybe two months. You don't watch those shows on TV where they do this much. stuff in three days. Yeah! <laughs> you know what, I'm actually talking about being a builder now, because people watch that, and then they watch Home From Hell. And they expect you to come in and get everything done. I, did, I lived hour. in America for 40 years, right. and you would not believe how quick they would resurrect a home, yeah. or build a home from scratch, or restore a home from scratch. They've got the money and they've got the teams. Me and Charlie just want to chill. Well, the first thing here, British people don't want to buy tools. Oh, I love tools. American tools are here to solve the American weekend. 
Nice to see. Uh, we used to go in Alaska. Where even the skill tour has got to be petrol. There's no electric up there. Yeah. So they built these log cabins up there with every single tool. So there's like a petrol powered jigsaw. See that, yeah. Well, they usually got generators. Where I live, um, I had to have a generator because there's so many power cuts. I had I think that's too bad. We're up to about 20. Where were you then? Two, four, um, six. Seven. Well, the first place I had was outside Reno, Nevada. 22. Which uh, is in the middle, of, middle of, I was in the middle of the desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and then I moved right on the Canadian border in Washington. how you build a house shine on 